declutter finale um, for the month of April. I'm just going to go through the items really quick and just let you know whether it's items that I'm keeping or ones that I'm going to go ahead and either pass along, give away, or trash or anything like that. So the first two items were the primers. One was the Becca and one was the, um, the Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer by Benefit. The Becca one worked good. It still does work good. It does fill in my pores really well. The only thing with this is I think I went past the expiration date on it because um, once I go ahead and I pat it into my pores but I like blend it in a little bit, I notice that it starts really balling up. So I would say I don't want to pass this along to anybody. Um, but I am going to keep it. It does do its job still and I'm not breaking out from it. So I do want to go ahead and use this up. I'm about a little bit more than halfway done with this. So I am going to keep this. And the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. I basically use these two in conjunction. I'm putting this in my, my pore area and this one I'm putting for the rest of my face. And this I'm not really crazy about. I wouldn't repurchase this one again. I don't like... I don't like the fact that it's a stick formula and you have to, you know, put it directly on your skin from the tube. I don't like that. Um, so I am going to keep this one as well and just use it up. I don't want to give it away since, again, like I said, I was going like directly on my skin. So I am going to keep these two. And with the Becca one, it was a, it is a good pore filler, but there are other ones that I've used that probably are a little bit less expensive that I think that do the same thing. So that's for, the, so for these two items I am going to keep. The next two items were the Cream Shadows by Revlon. And so I had these three. And I am going to go, I am going to, going to go, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and keep this one. This is the one right here. I'm going to keep this one. I noticed that throughout the month I really gravitated to this one quite a bit. The other two with like the white and the peach and the silver, I really didn't. So I'm going to keep this trio and not this trio. I'm going to keep this quad and I'm going to pass along these two quads. I'm trying to keep two separate piles here. All right. The next three were the purple eyeshadows. So this one was by Medusa. It's the Safari Headhunter and that's the color. The next one is the Revlon in Plum Galaxy, and the other one is the Ulta brand in Glam Rock. And here the swatch is on my hand again. So this is the Medusa, this is the Revlon, and this is the Ulta one. These two are very similar. They have like glitter, chunky glitter in it. So these two I'm going to give away. I just didn't really like the way that they applied on my eye. Um, they apply really well on the skin, but they do take... A little bit more work to get on your eyes. The Medusa one I did really like so I am going to keep this one and I'm going to pass along these two. Alright, next was the eyeliners. I had the four eyeliners. Two were the e.l.f. glitter eyeliners in purple and like a teal color. And the other two, one was by Starlux and the other one was by uh, Mally. And I have these swatches right here. So this was, these two, first two are the e.l.f. This was the Starlux and this was the uh, Mally one. I am going to keep the purple e.l.f. one because I don't, it's the only purple one I have. And then I am going to also keep, which one did I choose to keep? Let's see. I was going to keep the purple one by e.l.f. And I was going to keep, I forgot which one I was going to keep. Let's see. I was going to keep the Mally one. Yes, so the Mally one. Because the Mally one, which is right here, and the Elf, these two are similar colors. So I'm going to keep that one. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of the Star Looks and the other teal Elf eyeliner. Alright, next is the gel liners and I had them, these were the L'Oreal Hip Gel Liners and these are in Eggplant, Teal and Midnight Blue. I'm going to explain at the end of the video what my thought is as far as what I want to do with these. So stick around towards the end because I want to see what you guys think about my little suggestion or my plan of what I want to do with these gel liners. So I'm going to save my thoughts for them at the end. 
The next two items are the liquid eyeliners by CoverGirl. They were like basically two brown colors. One was a little bit darker than the other. These, I really did not like the way that they, I don't know, I just didn't really like them, honestly. I just didn't really care for them. They were a little bit too wet for me. Um, so I'm getting rid of both of them. So these, I'm passing along. The next items, I have my little list down here to make sure I went in the same order as the video. So hold on, sorry. The next item are the foundations, and I have the Revlon Colorstay and the Maybelline Fit Me. I am going to keep both of these. I really enjoyed actually using both of them. I used each one pretty much for two weeks, maybe this Maybelline Fit one for a little bit less, but I really like the way they both um, went on. I tried them with different primers, I try them with different brushes, like the sponge, the brushes and stuff, and I really like the way that they uh, went on my skin and stayed on my skin for the whole day. So I am going to keep both of these foundations. Next item is the concealers, and I had the one in MAC and the one in Revlon. Like I mentioned, I think in the introduction, I really don't use concealers a lot. Um, so I don't want to hold on to them and you know have them go bad. So I am going to keep the MAC one, but I am going to go ahead and give away the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. And honestly, I only used it like a few times. I'm just, I'm just not really a big concealer person. So I'm going to keep the MAC and I'm going to get rid of the Revlon. The next item is the MAC Powder in Medium. And I am going to keep that. I have been using it and it's just a good powder. And... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it, so keeping that. The next item were the three bronzers, and we had the Milani in Soleil. We had the Neutrogena. It was like a duo with the blush and the bronzer, but I was just, looking, you know, doing the bronzer. And then we have the Wet n Wild Fergie one in, what color was this? This is Rose Golden Goddess. And I have the swatches. Where are my swatches? Oh, my swatches on this hand. <laughs> So this is the, this is a Milani, this is the Neutrogena one, and then this is the Wet n Wild one. I am going to keep both the Milani and the Wet n Wild, so I'm keeping these two. I'm getting rid of this Neutrogena one. I honestly didn't even, I just didn't even go for it at all in the whole month. I kept switching between the Milani and the Wet n Wild, and I was very surprised. So if you guys are like me where you got to watch out for like shimmer a lot, um, because of, you know, if you have oily skin or if you just don't like that look, these two were very surprisingly not, as much as you see the shimmer in the pan, and even like with the Milani, they look like there was a lot of like gold, like flakes, glitter, I guess you want to say, in them. It didn't transfer onto my skin at all, so I really liked these two. They were, they really did surprise me. The Neutrogena one, I'm getting rid of or passing it along. Like I said, I didn't even really use it at all because I kept going between the two of them. So if I didn't go for it at all to even try it out, there's no point of keeping it. So I'm passing that one along. I hope I'm not, I know sometimes I talk so fast. I hope I'm not talking too fast. Um, <laughs> the next things were the blush. And they were all NYX blushes. Um, and I'll just go ahead and just show you on my arm. Hopefully you can see. So this was in Peach, Natural, and Mocha. The Peach and the Natural, they really were very similar. So I only need one of them. So I am going to get rid of the Peach color. And I'm going to keep the Natural. Sorry, let me see. So these two, they're very similar to me. They're very similar on the cheeks and when you uh, go ahead and put it on your arm. So I am going to get rid of this one. It has a little bit of a dent in it, so I'm going to get rid of that one, and I'm going to keep this um, natural, and I'm going to keep the mocha. So, I'm going to keep these two, and get rid of that one. So, that's that. Next are highlighters, and I had the two. I had the one from Went Wild Fergie. And then I had, let's see, the Fergie one was in Rosé Champagne, and then the Neutrogena one was the Translucent Pearl. So here are these two, and I did a swatch, hopefully you can see. 
so here is the um, Wet n Wild one, and here is the um, Physician's Formula. The Wet n Wild one is more of like a pink, where the the um, Physician's Formula is more of like a white or an opal um, highlighter. I like both of them, so I'm not going to get rid of either one of them. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and the next ones, which I'm not going to swatch, I ran out of room, um, but I'll just go them through them real quick were the lip products. So the first one was the Revlon Color Stay in, let's see, which one was this? This was in, did I put this? Oh, this was in Coquette. And this is the one I'm actually wearing on my lips today. This one I am going to pass along. I really do like the color, but there is like glitter, and I had mentioned that in the intro where it didn't transfer on my arm, which it really didn't. But on the lips, they do. So there is some glitter in my lips, and I really don't like that kind of a look, so I am going to pass along that one. The other two are Revlon 2. They're the Just Bitten Kissable, um, whatever, stains. And these are in the color, let's see, Darling and Pink. These two I am going to keep, which I was laughing about because I did have these in another project where I literally couldn't stand them when I was using them, but I don't know. I stopped using them for a month or so, and then I went back to them, and I really liked them. So I really like them for spring, so I am keeping those two. The other two are matte, and they're the Revlon Colorstay uh, Matte Balms. And these are in Unapologetic and Audacious. Yeah, Audacious. So one's like a pink and one's like an orange. I am keeping the both of these. I like them. They're very matte. Uh, I just really like the way they look. So I'm keeping the both of those. The other one was the Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in Sugar Cookie. It was just a very nude with some shimmer um, lip gloss. I'm getting rid of this one. It smells like a little cookie. Uh, I just really didn't go for it. I wore it a few times and it was really, I just, I don't want it. So I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get rid of it. The next one was by Ulta, and it is the, I forgot the name of this, but it was just like an orange color. This is the same thing. I really didn't really go for this too much, so I'll go ahead and I'll pass this one along. And then the last item was the Outlast. This is where I got my Walmart box. It was, um... Uh, the Outlast by CoverGirl. It was the Coral Sunset where it comes with like the primer and then the lip gloss. I used it the one time like when I first got it. I didn't really care for it so that's why I wanted to put it in this project. I didn't, it was like, it was like the, um, uh, like the Neutrogena duo. I didn't even go for this so I didn't even try it again so I'm going to go ahead and just pass it along. So those were my little items of what I was keeping and what I'm passing along. Again, I'll just show you real quick what I'm getting rid of. So I'm getting rid of the three lip products right here. I'm getting rid of the two eyeshadows. The duo blush and bronzer. The blush by NYX in peach. The two Revlon Cream Shadow Quads. The Revlon Concealer, and this is in the color Light or Pale. The two CoverGirl, oh, where is it? Oh, the two CoverGirl um, Liquid Eyeliners. Oh, there was another lipstick product, sorry. Lippy product. And the two eyeliners, one by e.l.f., which is like a teal color, and then the other by Starlux, and it's in the color Exit to Eden. So those, those two. So that's it. So now, well, getting back to my gel liners. So I have these three. Now, I hope I'm not, I'm sure this video is going to be so long. So with the gel eyeliners, I was thinking of what could be a way that I could keep these because I do really like them and I don't really, as much as I do want to pass them along because I'm not going to be able to use the full, you know, the full pot up, but I still want to keep some of it. So when I was thinking about like what to do with these, that video was coming up like Amber F did it, Kristen did it um, with the traveling box. It was the traveling makeup box. 
So it like sparked a little thing in my uh, in my mind to do was what about if like some of us got together and not like did like a traveling box, but basically like whoever was interested in doing it, like with powdered like like loose pigments or loose powder or like uh, paint pots or gel eyeliners that come in these pots. If people were interested in like giving like like splitting it up maybe like four ways, so that people who wanted to have a chance to try like these different kind of gel liners or whatever it is that you were wanting to give away but don't want to keep the whole thing but put it like in those little you know like in these little makeup containers like I guess you can get them at the dollar store or Ulta was selling them for like a good dollar but put them in their own little separate containers and then like four or five of us we just basically swap a package so let me know if anybody is actually interested in doing that because I really would be because like I said other than like the purple the purple one I would keep but if I had a couple of people that were interested in wanting to try this uh, a gel liner I wouldn't mind splitting it up like four or five ways I mean because like I said it's not something a color I would use every day when I do do gel liner it's mostly black that I use but like for a pop of color every now and then you know you do need a little bit of it so if anybody, and again, you don't have to be on YouTube, you know, any of my little YouTube friends, if you guys want to do it, let me know, email me, or put in the comments below, letting me know that you'd be interested in, and I was really thinking about doing this with anything that's like, yeah, that could be put in a sample box, so like uh, any kind of a cream product, um, any kind of, or even like a foundation, uh, a liquid foundation that you know you might if you guys obviously match my color uh, type or whatever uh, ma match my skin tone um, but I would be more than happy like giving you guys some of like the foundation and putting in a little box you know a little package and everything and then sending a package to you guys and stuff I just think that would be a cute way to you know I don't know I, don't know, I just thought it would be a cute way to do that it's not like I said a full size makeup but you know, instead of me giving it to one person and then, yeah, they only use it a little bit, it's a good way for several people to try out a product instead of them purchasing it themselves and I don't want it to go bad and I'm not going to use all of it. So anything like with like pigments, loose powders, like loose powder foundation, so anything that obviously can go into a small little, you know, contain, like a sample container like this. So that's something, so that's, that was my thought on this. So for these three, um... I would like to do that. I would I would rather divvy, divvy them up in like three or four ways. The only thing would be, and obviously if it's something that you're not interested in doing, then that's fine. But the only thing it would be, obviously the um, the postage would be on you. I mean, the shipping would be on you. Like obviously when I send my three or four packages out of whoever wants to do it, obviously I'm paying for that. So you would have to be willing to obviously pay the postage to whoever you're sending the package to. But so you'd be basically making like, three or four different little packages for people. So if that's something that you are interested in, let me know. I hope I explained that okay. I know that like <laughs> when I have it in my mind, it sounds perfectly and yet I just, I, I know I'm very bad at explaining things. So that was my little thought on these three liners. And obviously for me, it would be a continuing thing because every month I obviously am trying to do this little declutter thing. All right, so enough about that. If you have other questions about that, let me know. But, you know, that, that's something I definitely want to do. So if any of you are interested in that, please let me know about that. Another thing that I did try out, I didn't put it in my intro, but I just happened to get it out of my little stash and I wanted to try it, was this brow brown eye maker pencil um, by CoverGirl. I tried using it for my eyebrows. I didn't like it at all. It's very just, it's just too light. It's soft brown. Yeah, I'll see if I can even, it's just a very soft brown color. I don't know. I just really didn't like it. So that's not there. So I'm getting rid of that as well. All right, so enough about all that. If you happen to still be sticking around, <laughs> thank you. Um, I did want to also put in this video, I wanted to do a Mother's Day giveaway. Now, with any kind of future giveaways that I'm going to do, I'm probably going to pop it somewhere in, in the video that I'm doing. Instead of announcing it in, you know, my title or anything like that, um, I found that with the couple of ones that I have done through, whether it was Instagram or YouTube, you know, people just go ahead and subscribe to you because they want to just enter the, you know, they want to enter for the giveaway and then that's really the last you hear from them. 
And I really want the giveaways to be go to people who, you know, who I talk to all the time on, you know, whether it's Instagram or through my channel. You know, it's a way for me saying thank you to you guys. I love doing giveaways. I really do. I wish I could do them all the time. But the people that win, I really want them, you know, the ones to win. The, I really want the people who win to be the ones who really support me and really are like my YouTube friends. So I'm not going to do that anymore. So if you happen to be still here, I want to show you what's going to be going away in the Mother's Day giveaway. So this video is going up on Monday the 27th. It should be up hopefully tonight. So this giveaway is good until starting tonight, until basically tomorrow night, okay? So it's only literally one day. So you have until the end of tomorrow, Tuesday the 28th Eastern Time, to go ahead and enter for this giveaway. I'm doing it for YouTube only. I will announce the winner, or I will notify who the winner is on Wednesday the 29th. And please check back with me as soon as you, you know, as soon as you get this, uh, because this package, I would like to go out on Thursday. I am going to be out of town the following week, and I really wanted to get it to you guys before Mother's Day. So, again, the giveaway is going to start today. It's only going to be literally a 24-hour giveaway. It's going until tomorrow, Tuesday the 28th at Eastern Time. I'll announce the winner Wednesday, and then the package will be sent out Thursday. If I do not hear back, by like Thursday before I leave because I'm heading out of town um, it's gonna have to wait until I get back so just so you know that I'll go ahead and notify you as soon as you know Wednesday morning I'll notify you right away and if you can please just notify me back right away uh, with your name and e email address I'll go ahead and I'll get it shipped out so on to the giveaway items I want it to be all like pampered stuff since it's for Mother's Day. Sorry, I have to keep going back and forth. Alright, so the first thing I got for you, and this is only going to be for one winner. Um, obviously, it's for Mother's Day, so I'm like, well, I know that everybody that watches me is not a mommy, so that's fine. As long as you're 18 years or older, you can go ahead and, you know, uh, enter for it. So, obviously, if it doesn't, a mommy doesn't win, then it's from a mommy to somebody else. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so, anyway. Alright, so the first thing I got were face masks. I got three and three. So, these three are the Aloe Vera Face Spa. So, that's these three. And then the other three are Mud Packs. So, that's three, three. These three. So that's what we got for the first items. The next thing I got was the migraine wrap. It's a microwavable wrap. It helps relieve stress and tension. So you microwave for heat therapy or you freeze for cold therapy. And it has like Velcro straps on it and stuff. So that is that. The next thing I got was the Hello Kitty Aloe Moisture Aloe Socks. So these are too cute. <laughs> They're nice and soft. And so what it says is it's infused with natural aloe vera and vitamin E. These super soft socks continually moisturize while surrounding your feet in plush comfort. So it says for best results, massaging your favorite foot lotion before slipping on the socks to leave feet feeling soft and smooth. And these are really, really smooth socks. The next thing is the relaxing microwavable neck pillow for the hot and cold relief of tension and stress. It's like a nice pink plush pillow that goes around your neck like that. So that was that. And then the last item is the Philosophy I Think You Are Wonderful um, like little box. And it's two bottles. One is a shower, I'm sorry. It's two bottles, eight ounces each, and one's a shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath, and then the other bottle is a body lotion, and it's in a fresh cream scent. So it comes in this little box, and it's these two bottles. So I thought that that would be just a cute little Mommy's Day gift. So even though it's a Mother's Day giveaway, it either can go to obviously a mother or like I said it's coming from a mother 
So you don't have to be a mommy to win this. Um, although it would be cool if a mommy could win this because they were all like obviously tailored to towards just de-stressing and relaxation and stuff like that. And obviously we, we need those little days to have those little relaxation days. So I hope you guys like this. If you obviously want to go ahead and enter, um, the only thing you just have to write down is in the comment section, just write somewhere in your comments or it would be nice if you can sneak it somewhere in the comments, like if you're commenting about the rest of the video, but like somewhere in there, just put something like mothers are wonderful. Something like, yeah, just something about mothers. And like I said, it could be your own little some, you know, saying or whatever, but, but just put a comment about mothers in quotes in the comment section somewhere. And that's all you have to do. You know, obviously it'd be nice if you could like the video and obviously you have to be subscribed. But other than that, just leave something like, you know, something with mothers or mommies in the comment section below. I'll be announcing the winner on Wednesday or I'll be alerting that person the Wednesday um, that they have won. And hopefully you can get right back to me right away and then the box will get shipped out. And there might be a couple other little surprises or treats in there. We'll see. I don't know. I'll have to see. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. So I know this video is way longer than what I wanted it to be. It usually always is. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram. And yes, I'm on Twitter. But no, I'm really not doing anything with Twitter right now. But that is it. I hope you guys are having a blessed Monday. And I really do hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.